guys, good morning and welcome to the Chelsea News on YouTube. Today on the news we have Michael Richards has already told Chelsea why they must complete training Michael Olise transfer. Chelsea are still trying to sign Michael Olise from Crystal Palace with talks ongoing and Michael Richards has given his effect on the France under the swinger. Chelsea continue in their talks with Crystal Palace over a deal to sign Michael Lisa this summer. The Blues tried to sign the 22-year-old last year, but the complexity of the act clause in his previous contract caused the club some problems. Olise then went on to sign a new deal that self-host self back, and there is now a clause believed to be in the region of £60 million. Pounds. Chelsea, though, are yet to discuss personal terms with Olise and his representatives. The club are binding their time to try and get the best possible deal, but there are other sides in the frame, too, with Newcastle United. Manchester United are buying the niche of all of the stool to be interested. Olise enjoyed a brilliant 2023-2024 season with Crystal Palace, although it was disrupted by injury problems. He missed half of Palace's Premier League matches, but still managed to score 10 goals and assist six times in 19 appearances. His performance impressed so much that Michael Richards claimed he would go on to become world class in the future. However, the former England international did warn potential suitors that he would need to be guided in the right directions in order to unleash all of his talents. <laughs> If he was ever to leave or when he leaves Palace, if he picks the right team where he is allowed to express himself, he is going to be a superstar. He is that good, he is going to be very tough. Meanwhile, Chelsea remains in talks with Aston Villa to sign striker John Doran. The 20 year old is valued at around 45 million pounds by his current employers. But the Blues are doing their best to drive that price down. Duran is understood to be taken to be keen on the move to Stamford Bridge after one and a half season at Villa Park. The Colombia striker was on the periphery, periphery of the Villa first team, first team last season, but impressed during common appearances. So, on the news today, that's all we have. Thank you, and don't forget to follow like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more news. Thank you.